all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they giving a back-to-back -back updates on how things to be on how things the share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this broadcast too all right, my wonderful people, the latest one with the buzz brains at the moment. Yes, we say that the PM BRGIE Simon Eber has reacted to the xenophobic attack that has uh, taken place towards the black Africans. And then he has sent a strong message to JM. Yes, my people, I see the also well, you know that the PM is a man that uh, is involved with a whole lot of things and cares about everything that happens to not only Biafrans or innocent Biafrans, but everybody at large. And that is why he has reacted to this xenophobic attack because, uh, of course, you understand that this is the type of thing that uh, these people have tried to do to Biafrans in Nigeria. Maybe you can compare it. It is very, very comparable to what these people want to do to Biafrans. And if you are being very truthful and very sincere, it is one thing that is very, very bad. So at this particular point, it is something that we could look at and we would not I even want the sneakiest or anything close to it to even take place. And that is why even at this point, we are working towards anything that would not show this kind of thing. And that's why the PM is hitting up on it because uh, allowing this kind of thing, not commenting on this kind of thing happening, is as well as just being selfish. And trust me, with these white people that we need their support and their foreign, um, anything concerning their foreign attacks or foreign um, support, they need to understand, they need to come to understand that ah, that you also care about every other person, not just yourself. Because if they come to understand that you only care about yourself, then it's going to be a tough one for us. It's going to be a tough one for us to even crack. Because at this particular point, uh, they would think that uh, everything we are doing is just for ourselves. And so any other thing that is happening to every other set of people does not concern us, which is properly wrong. And that is why the PM is reacting to it and, and is making comments on it. So you see that everything that happens here is done for a reason. And uh, the PM is actually making sure that uh, one way or another, we ourselves find our way to actually accommodate and be and walk through every single thing that we are supposed to do and that's the truth of the matter we are expected to actually do better do better in a whole lot of things and uh, while we still um, move around and heave around with a whole lot of things coming up we need to be sure that the situation of things are not changing we need to be sure that uh, a whole lot of things are coming up for the betterment and that is the truth of the matter every single move that is being made by the pm or the biafra liberation army and the rest of them it's somewhat what has been needed for the longest of times and that is the truth of the matter it is what we expect it is what we need for ourselves and that is one thing that we want to actually take place and that is one thing that um, we actually have always wanted one way or another uh, the situation of things at this point is that we need we need to actually show that we are involved we we want these things to happen we want everything that is happening to happen in good ways the biafra liberation army the biafra declaration that is to take place in um, december 2nd and everything which is in everything in total we want these things to actually work out well we want these things to actually end up in a good way not in a way that would um, end up uh, not being nice and would not uh, um, end up satisfying any of us at all and so that is why every single thing that we are doing at this point is for the betterment of every single one of us we are not doing it just for ourselves but for everyone in total we are doing it for the things we have been aiming for that uh, we have not yet got to we are doing it for every single strike we have ever wanted and uh, we are doing it for all of us yes we are doing it for all of us for what we've always wanted to achieve we are doing it for everything we've ever wanted and by god's grace we are going to get to where we need to get we are going to get to where we have been aiming to get you see this particular freedom we are asking for this particular movement and everything we've been aiming for we need to actually get there because of course getting there is a priority that we, we need to actually have in mind that uh, at the end we would end up uh, making things or achieving things that uh, would actually be beneficial for all of us and so in this particular way in this particular way we need and we need to come to an understanding that everything everything works out for a reason and that we are not going to give up these people also need to come to that understanding that we are not going to give up 
until until we are where we need to be and that's the truth of the matter until we are where we need to be and until we are there we are not giving up this whole thing started the whole long of the matter anytime you decide to stop fighting you, you it will just mean that yes that we are not as serious as we claim to be in quotes it will just be something that they would come out and say it means that we are not ready for whatever it is that is happening soon and so my people we are not giving up and that is what these people think 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 they have against us being ready or looking for where to give up we are not giving up anytime soon and that is the truth of the matter Okay, my people, uh, we have uh, another one in our in our front right now that we are getting. It says here that 44 fear, 45 uh, has been feared dead. Uh, 45 headsmen have been feared dead uh, recently in Benue community. And so it could be. Uh, they say 45 have been feared dead in Benue community. Uh, my people, see the killings in Sankara. Exists, particularly Ukum local government area of Benue State has uh, remained unbeaten because of the issues that have uh, been coming out ever since. It says that, however, unbeaten resulting in the killing of about 45 persons in the area. However, the member in the Benue State uh, House of Assembly uh, represents Ukum State is constituency as a in Yiyongo said about 20 people lost their lives in the incident. The incident which took place in Bage uh, community of Ukum local government area and also claimed the lives of a family of seven left 30 persons with various degrees of injury while scores have de been declared missing. In the attack by the, by the people who were working with the members of a militia group in the area in its bid to eliminate another militia group Daily Independent learned that most of those people that were killed were members of the two rival militia gangs. However, while we gathered that, uh, that about 12 peasant farmers who were caught in the crossfire were among the dead, the people of Berge and its environs have been displaced following the killings in the area. A top military brass in operation were stroke OPWS, who would not want his name in print, confirmed the attack and, and the circumstances surrounding the incident. He said, these are militia men killing themselves. Yes, we acknowledge that probably one or, uh, one or two people may have been caught in the crossfire, but the majority of the people that were killed are members of the militia gangs in the area. Currently, we are in Kwande and are trying to contain the situation uh, in the area. And as you can see, Calm has been restored to the area. We have been able to flush out the headsmen out of Kwande, and can I can assure you, normalcy will be restored soon. But be that as it may, our troops are in the area, Ukum, to ensure that the attack does not affect innocent people. Meanwhile, the state commissioner of police, Emmanuel Adeshina, said more police officers have been deployed to the area to contain the situation. Speaking on the condition of anonymity, a traditional ruler in the area explained that the fight started on recently and following a disagreement between one rival gang and the other who was backed by the headsman over the weekend. He stated that what followed was that another militia gang in the Ukum now went and joined forces with the Fulali militia gang in Taraba to help them eliminate the rival gang in Ukum. The excellence was to enable him be the head of the militia in Okrum. Okay, so uh, see the combined forces of the headsmen and militia gang started moving into the bushes of Bega in their hundreds from Sunday to sack the other rival gang. From what we gathered, over 45 persons were, were lost, or rather, who were mainly bandits were lost in the in the in the crossfires and uh, and though some farmers were also lost who were caught in the crossfire over 30 others were injured while some are also missing uh, my people so my people these uh, fulani people are giving issues to a whole lot of people not only people that are just wherever they are but every single person and these are not the people and these are the people we wake up and we give we are saying that in in you know where or it will land or in anambara wherever it is that we would wake up and give them a space or an opportunity in our land to stay and go and get their files look at the amount of issues they are causing in their own place yes 
in various states. So think about what these people will be able to do in our own state. Think about the, 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 the mayhem they would cause allowed and allowed into our land. Already, we already know that they have already been causing a whole lot of issues in our land. Now think about what they will do if we are now if we now give them that audacity to enter into our land and do whatever it is they seem uh, that is right for them my people it means we are sem uh, sentencing ourselves to death which would be the worst thing we could ever do to ourselves also yes my people this is it this is where we've come to the end of this particular broadcast thank you for joining us remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too thank you